you explain what maybe that means? Because he wasn't really specific with that. What does that mean if you feel like you guys have had yeah, Michael, I appreciate the question. And the thing is, is they're very subjective terms, right? So you guys are out here at practice every day. Um, we went through, you know, an outbreak last year when I was in Tennessee and a completely different time when there wasn't vaccinations. We're in a completely different environment right now. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to go in any more comments, but it's pretty obvious you guys come out here every day for work, you would know. So I'll leave it at that. And I'm not going to get in caught in some political and then what about game, you know, this or that. But for you, the way you've seen on the field so far from your defensive line, how much can you really gauge what you maybe have there versus not? Because it's A, still it's really, and they're going against the same guys every day. Sure. Yeah, and all they can do is compete against the guys that are out in front of them. And that's, you know, ultimately why we practice and practice the way we do. We're trying to find out about about guys, you know, who, who can respond, who's, who can sustain. Um, that's why this week, this week is so important in training camp. You know, you, you, everybody's jacked up for the first day, and then the grind starts to wear, and you start to really find out about guys, especially inside. I mean, those guys are, you know, they're going to be banged up. It's training camp. You know, nobody's going to feel 100%, but uh, you really do start to separate, and then it's just part of the evaluation process. And then you get into the preseason game next week, and then we'll go down to Miami and practice against them. That'll be refreshing for a lot of guys. And then it's hopefully by the end, after we play Cleveland, we can make the best decision. This may be an odd question, but when you're looking at running guys, how much do you look at their acceleration point and how they run out of the acceleration? Yeah, I mean, certainly you take that into account. But I, I just, I'm not a one-size-fits-all guy. You know, we've, we've played with a lot of different running backs. They're all, they all have different skill sets from – from Mike to CP, you know, Caleb Huntley, uh, going back to other running backs that I've worked with. And so uh, certainly that's one factor into, yeah, you, you obviously if you can get from zero to 100 quick, that's a plus to play running back or, you know, or wide out or any, any position where you're carrying the football. Awesome. Well, Eric's a guy that, um, that has done a great job leading since he got here. You know, he obviously, we, we brought him in here from, from the Raiders. Um, he's a guy we were familiar with, guys on our staff had worked with him at, at previous spots and, and other places. And we feel good about what Eric's brought into this, this locker room. I mean, he's out here competing every day. I, I would expect him to have a big role for us. You know, that could change week to week depending on the game plan and the matchups. So there's a lot of good competition back there on the safety spot. You know, you just don't overreact. Like I've seen guys go through the, you know, it's like, you know, I was talking about the other day, you got to think, keep things in perspective. When we, we were testing them today and you got to find out about your team. I mean, when guys get tired, you can see who can focus. You get down, you put them in stressful situations and see how they react. Uh, but Ru Russell's been great. He, he's, he's fighting through, he's pushing through and, and he has high expectations. We, we expect him to have a big role for us. But it was actually good to see Russ out here. He needs to take it. That's going to happen. Um, certain weeks, that, you know, you're not going to have everybody up, and you got to have different guys step up. And OZ and Russ and Christian Blake and Tajay, I, I'll even give Darby credit. Those guys are out there competing. They're fighting. Team. My favorite thing, home team. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So um, uh, AJ Terrell and uh, Kyle Pitts kind of get some work in towards the end. Uh, is that a function of what you'd like to see some one-to-ones a little bit more? Or is that just a function of where you were in practice today as you were Really both. You know, and there's some things that we try to set up logistically with the with the practice to make sure you're getting that. I mean, we, we feel good about how AJ's been playing out here, and it's good for him to see, and it's good for Kyle, really. So we feel you need to get the best guys trying to match up against each other and find out about them. So, you know, I can go out there and we can spot throw, and, and me or Rags can go out there and cover them. It's not the guys that are going to be playing on the NFL, I can promise you that. Um, but it's good. It was good to see AJ step up. Like you get down there in tight spaces, and he, he went up there and, and bowed up on CP. CP's not small either. That, that to me was impressive to see from AJ today as well. George on your right. The uh, competition of right tackle and left guard, how's that shaping up for you? Pretty it's still really early. You know, we, when we expect Caleb to come back, come in there and compete, and then assess, assess where everybody's at. Uh, 
you know, Willie Beavers continues to show up every day. Spriggs, you know, we brought him in here. Those guys are in there competing, and it's only fair. So we got to assess whenever Caleb comes back and he's out to get through a practice, where Jalen's at. And once we do, whether we try to move him back inside or we keep him over there and say, all right, you and Caleb fight out. We got to find the best five and the best combination. And then the guys that aren't starting, we got to have guys that when we put eight up on game day, they, got, they can play multiple spots. Uh, Drew Dahm is another guy. You know, he's been a pleasant surprise over there playing guard as well. So we knew he could play center. And then you find out that he, he he's doing a nice job at guard. But then it's so early. And I say that because, preface it, because here we are, right, week two in the training camp, and we have a long way to go. And it, it, it'll separate itself by the end of this camp. Yeah, I, I don't get in the prediction business, and I don't say that to be evasive. It's just we feel good about where he's at. Um, but my experience, too, you go, we put him on PEP for a reason. I feel like he's doing well, and we evaluate him every day, and then we'll see. You know, it'll be week to week. So you can put that down if you want, week to week. So. Yeah, that, that'll be uh, they'll be fun to watch where they are when we get out of the preseason games. They're both going to play for us in the preseason, and they'll know going into that, you know, how many reps they're going to get, or you know, what quarter they'll take, or, or a half. Um, yeah, and AJ, and everything we've thrown at them. I, I'm very pleased with both those guys. But again, until we see them play in a game, and you know that, uh, I'll remain to, to judgment for that. So, Michael, that's going to be a day off tomorrow. So, what Saturday? <laughs> it's getting soft. <laughs> so, like, what Saturday going to look like? Uh, how are you planning on breaking that up? Because obviously, we have never seen you do that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a scrimmage. We're excited to go down to the stadium. We'll have fans in there. It'll be cool for a lot of us to go down there and just, it'll be good for the staff too. We haven't coached in that stadium yet. So we got to work through, and the preseason helps. We get two home preseason game. And, and so it's just bigger for the staff. Obviously the players, it'll be a, a practice. I mean, we're not going to tackle. We're going to have a scrimmage. I mean, there'll be a lot of team and situational stuff. And then we got to assess where we're at, uh, you know, in terms of injury wise, personnel and how many reps. But we'll have a good practice down there Saturday. Yeah, okay. correct. I'm just kind of following up on what you were talking to Shockley. So we were saying they kind of get a half full mat, like just kind of get a series in and out, or not at all the preseason. What are you thinking? Uh, we'll probably make the decision mid -ne middle of next week uh, where Matt's at, how many throws we think he needs, and, and it'll be a collaborative effort there. Um, but however it shakes out, AJ and Felipe are both going to get to play. It's the only way that those guys, and we, we can simulate everything in practice, but until you can really get hit, the timing and like I said I've been pleased with them and they, every it's all these guys like we can only control the practice settings and that's why I'm excited about the preseason because we'll get to see those guys play. Um, apologies if you keep boring and ask um, but you said yesterday that you could really see the maturity of this sort of class. Where do you see that? Is it in the you know when y'all are in the room together when they're out here? What are some examples of that? Yeah it's a good question. So it's how they handle day to day. You know, this is all foreign to them. Um, you know, a lot of these guys come from good programs. They've, they've been coached well before, but it's just so different. There's the, the, the stuff that you have to deal with in college football, we don't have to deal with. So they're not going to class. We're not having meetings about study hall and all the other things that go on with being a, a college athlete. So come here, this is their job. Sometimes it takes some guys uh, a little while to understand that this is a job and this is what it's about. And it's just a really mature class, um, all those guys. So I've been pleased, you know, uh, Drew Dolan, Ade, Avery, um, Caleb Huntley are like our undrafted class. It's, they've been fun to work with. I mean, they're rookies. Don't get me wrong. I'm not sitting here anointing anybody, but so far I've been pleased with that. Anything else? Fine. Yeah, Jane Graham, been the uh, IL. You know, what, what are his spirits like and, you know, just you know, how he's done the situation? Well, Jaden's uh, Jaylen's a guy that's put a lot into this. Um, and you hate you hate it for guys, you know, and anybody you, you coach, it, it's uh, it's very emotional. You know, this is his, this is his life, and it, it's a it's a tough game, it's a tough business, and it's an unfortunate that it happened. But Jaden's a guy that cares. He's a great teammate. He's a great uh, worker, and so you really feel for him. I didn't go to med school, Michael, but I, I would. You no, know, he, he 
Probably will, yeah. Right. Appreciate it, guys.